Hello and welcome to Teacher Overseas. In today's video, we are going to take a look at the most popular system of units used around the world, which is called the metric system. Measurement helps us describe the things in the world we live in and to compare them using units. Here, we will discuss about the metric measures of length, mass and volume. As we know, the standard units of length, mass and volume are meter, gram and liter respectively. The abbreviations of each of these units are, for example, meter as m, gram as g and liter as l. The idea behind the metric system is to start with a base unit and then use standard prefixes to make other units that are bigger or smaller than the base unit by powers of 10. To see how they work, let's consider a base unit in the metric system called a meter, which is a basic unit of length or distance. The unit 10 times bigger than a meter is called decameter, abbreviation DAM. The unit 100 times bigger than a meter is called hectometer or HM and the unit 1000 times bigger than a meter is called kilometer or KM. But this system also has prefixes to define units smaller than a meter. The unit that is 10 times smaller or one tenth of a meter is called decimeter or dm. The unit that is 100 times smaller or one hundredth of a meter is called centimeter or cm. The unit that is 1000 times smaller or one thousandth of a meter is called millimeter or mm. Similarly, we can work with the base unit gram for mass and litter for volume. The metric system make working with units easier with the largest unit at the extreme left and smaller unit at extreme right. Each unit is 10 times bigger than the unit immediately on its right and 10 times smaller than the unit immediately on its left. That is exactly the same pattern that the number places use in our decimal number system. The diagram can give you an idea of how the units relate to each other. All these different units of length are based on powers of 10 which is equivalent to either multiplying or dividing by 10 depending on which direction you shift. For example, 9.365 km is same as 93.65 hectometer which is the same as 936.5 decameter and so on. You can convert to the next smaller metric unit by shifting the decimal point to the right which is equivalent to multiplying by 10 and you can convert to the next bigger metric unit by shifting the decimal point to the left which is equivalent to dividing by 10. Let's do some activities to convert these units. 12 kilogram to milligram. Here we are moving from left to right, six steps starting from kilogram to milligram. So we have to multiply 12 by 10 lakh and we get 1 crore 20 lakh milligram. If we have to convert milligram to kilogram, we need to divide by 10 lakh. The second activity, 6598 milliliter to deciliter. Here, to move from milliliter to deciliter, we move two steps from right to left. So, we will divide by 100. Thus, we get 65.98 deciliter. The third activity, 9 meter 20 centimeter to centimeter. To convert 9 meter to centimeter, we move two steps from left to right. So we will multiply by 100. That is 9 times 100 is equal to 900 centimeter and 20 is in centimeter itself. Thus 900 plus 20 gives 920 centimeter. The metric system allows for easy conversions and it is so useful for us. 
Hope you have learned to convert units within the metric system. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section. Thank you for watching Teacher Overseas. See you next time.